I would like to welcome you all to the great debate on free will, determinism, and compatibilism. Tonight, our three debaters will take turns explaining their stance of each of these topics, and you will vote on which individual wins the grand prize. First of all, I want to clarify the definition of free will, since that is what this argument is all about. Free will is defined by Oxford Dictionary as the power of acting without the constraint of necessity or fate, the ability to act at one's own discretion. Any Miss Lieber, please introduce your topic. I believe we all have free will, and I stand here today to convince you that we are all in control of our lives. Free will is one's ability to act based upon one's own choices and discretion without fate and omniscient being, consequences, or biological makeup forcing one into doing something. We all have the choice of whether to resist or follow, despite what our chances may be. Thank you, Animus. Next up, we have the term in error. Our choices are not our own. I stand here today due to correlation of cause and effect relationships creating my character, personality, values, and circumstances. We live in a world where determinism, not free will, reigns. There are three main types of determinism, causal, theological, and biological determinism. I believe in causal determinism, which is the theory that every event is the consequence of previous events. The world is a series of cause and effect relationships. Theological determinism is the theory that God controls humans. Finally, biological determinism is the idea that it is our biological makeup, or DNA, that determines the decisions we think we make in our lives. Thank you for your explanation of determinism, the term. Finally, we will have Con Endian explain her perspective on this issue. I represent neither extreme, but a middle ground where determinism and free will coexist. Some things in the world are in our control, while others are not. Yes, we can make choices in our lives, what to eat, what to wear, but the world and the universe as a whole are predetermined, and we cannot change those aspects of the world. Thank you, Con. I would like each of you to provide us with a brief biography of one philosopher who supported the viewpoint you hold. Animus, you may proceed. Christian List, a modern philosopher born in 1973, argues in support of free will. He said, quote, Free will requires intentional agency, alternative possibilities between which we can choose, and causal control over our actions. He has written a book exploring free will and the various arguments against it. List studies economics and political science as well, and he relates these topics to philosophical concepts. The term, you're next. Paul Henry Thury, Baron de Holbach, was a strong supporter of determinism. He was born in 1723 and died in 1789. He was a materialist, meaning that he believed only matter exists. Souls and God, for example, are out of the question. He wrote a book, and through his efforts to promote science, he contributed to the European Enlightenment. He stated, quote, Man is, as a whole, the result of a certain combination of matter, endowed with particular properties, competent to give, capable of receiving, certain impulses, the arrangement of which is called organization, of which the essence is to feel, to think, to act, to move, after a manner distinguished from other beings with which he can be compared. Thank you, Determ. Take it away, Conv. Compatibilist thinking changed at the time when John Stuart Mill lived and his position on the topic of free will is an interesting one. Mill lived from 1806 to 1873 and was a British philosopher. His idea is that a person is free when he or she can master his or her desires, temptations, and habits. On the other hand, a person who is not free is one who follows the whim of his or her desires, temptations, or habits. He also held that determinism does not, quote, conflict in the smallest degree with what is called our feeling of freedom. All right, now I would like each of you to sum up your stance, and then we will allow the audience to decide upon the winner. Free will involves having a choice. We make thousands of choices every day, and in most instances, we are free to choose from multiple possibilities. We can always choose to resist or to move with the flow. However, the success of our choice is not guaranteed. In fact, we may have very little to no chance that something will be a success, but we can still try. 
Christian List argues that, quote, agency, choice, and control are emergent higher-level phenomena. Our choices cannot be simplified to just cause and effect, and I know it is a tiresome argument for some of us, but does it just feel like we have free will and can make our own choices? Now, I must clarify that we can feel like we have free will, but this could just be an illusion. Just because the world is deterministic does not mean that it would feel like we do not have free will. We all know that we are affected by our experiences, our cultures, and a host of other things in our life. These experiences make us who we are, and the choices we make are based on our characteristics. You can choose to wear what you are wearing today because of a variety of experiences, preferences, and conveniences affect you. You could flip a coin and leave what you are wearing up to chance, but your past experiences still inclined you towards flipping the coin. Causal determinism is sometimes described as your belief, desire, and temperament forcing you to make a specific choice. This does not feel like force, but based on the situation, there is no chance that you would do something else. You both think that the view you hold is final, but really, compatibilism is a delightful mix of both theories. The past does play a role in determining who we are and the future, yet some of the choices we make really are our own. At the end of the speech, I will have to leave the stage. I could jump off the stage of my own free will. But what if our friendly moderator here decides to push me off the stage? The end result is the same. I am off the stage. But when I decide to jump, that is my own decision made through free will. In this way, some things are determined, but our internal choices can affect the outcome. Thank you, Animus Determined Con, for your explanation. Dear audience, now that you have had a very brief explanation of these stances, it is time for you to decide which is the best. Or is it really your decision? Might your choice just be predetermined?